there was a revolt and the Rabbi Akiva did support this revolt as did probably uh, many if not most of the Jews and most of the sages, the Chachamim in Eretz Yisrael at that time and there's no doubt that the version of events that Rav Shira Gaon reports, namely that the students of Rabbi Akiva died in a Shmada which is precisely what we just described, a religious persecution. In other words, the Jews who revolted against the Romans at that time saw themselves fighting a war for religious and of course national as well, but first and foremost religious freedom, to the freedom to perform circumcision and all other acts as required, all other miswot required by the Torah. The students of Rabbi Akiva without a doubt took place in the fighting and the revolt as soldiers in the army of Bar Kochva. This was not a time when uh, Torah students could uh, stay at home uh, claiming that they were protecting the nation by studying. If you wanted to revolt against the Romans, which was a uh, fairly incredible um, decision to make in the first place, taking into account the tremendous overwhelming power and force and might of the Roman Empire, if you wanted to take them on militarily, then you needed every single fighting man that you could get. So the students of Rabbi Akiva, without a doubt, took place in the armed uh, revolt against the Romans. And when it's reported in the Talmud that they all died at that period, that's entirely 100% true. But they did not die because they did not respect one another. They died because they were fighting a war for religious and national freedom. Thank you, Rabbi Bar Chaim. We would like to encourage our viewers to share these videos with friends and send in your responses. We would also like to suggest the following opportunity to our viewers. If you identify with Rabbi Bar Chaim's message and would like to sponsor or dedicate a video interview with the rabbi in honor or memory of a loved one, if you would like to obtain Birkon Nusach Eretz Israel or invite the rabbi for a speaking engagement, please email us at office at machonchilo.org.